What's going on, real estate? It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Made it to the real where we always keep it real. Spider Man, No Way Home. Yes. Bro. The spoiler review. So make sure you hear that before you get, get in, click, thinking it's non spoiler, and then get your feelings hurt. So, spoiler. That's review. in the title. That's in the title. That's it don't right. matter because people don't read. So I'm telling you, it's the spoiler review. So get if you ain't seen it. So, we've seen it twice. <laughs> And I was hurt each time. Still Te- hurt. Tears. Tears. This is the saddest movie in the MCU by far. What? Did you not? Do you not remember Infinity War? Infinity War shocked you and it hurt. I and just, the most hurtful scene in the Infinity War was fucking Spider Man getting dusted. Maybe. I still feel like the whole end part was like fucked up. The, I feel like what? The I'm t- if I, I could put a poll out and I feel like that one hit the worst. He was a kid. If you're a Spider Man fan, yes, they're gonna say that. Especially now after the movie, if you do the poll, yeah, it's gonna be biased because they just watched the movie. So No, I just feel like that was even then in twenty eighteen. That's it. It was just shocking seeing everybody get dusty period to me. But I feel like the difference between that and this for me is that there's consequences to this movie that you can't fix versus like Infinity War basically being fixed. You might it, it might have been one or two things that you couldn't fix that you know like we still lost people because of people's sacrifices and stuff like that. But for this movie for me, I feel like to me personally because I know everybody going to have their opinion. I feel like me being a fan of spider men in general, I just feel like this one hurt a little more for me based on how the consequences were. So so the movie picks up right where far from uh home left off. I a mean week later. Right from right right there. Like a we week go- later. That's what they say. It was a week after, so No, the scene they the scene picks up right oh, you there. talking about the shit with Yeah, with like that's what I'm saying, what I'm saying. The the movie picks up right at that scene, right where you left off. J. Jonathan Jameson saying Peter Parker is Spider Man. Him and MJ are out and fucking <laughs> look like what? What is that? Manhattan. And notice that the girl in the uh, movie was trying to snatch off Peter's or Spider Man's mask, and he pushed her hand away. Like, no, Spider Man hit me when you were doing something wrong. People do that. I like how real that was. Like, oh, you're trying to reach for my mask to reveal who I am, but because I swatted your hand away, it's, oh, Spider-Man hit me to make you like the bad guy. Did you see the guy when they tried to web away, tried to jump after them? Like, that dude was fucking crazy. He should have got hit by a car, but maybe... That was fucking crazy. That's what y'all get for bothering this child. Like, he literally, like, what, still 17? Yeah. Like, 18 at the moment? 17. So, like... You should have got hit by a car. That's what should have happened. And that that big bitch would have been on the ground trying to grab my mask off. But you know, it was a lot of fun scenes. The scene where uh, Happy walked in and Peter was getting naked <laughs> with, <laughs> with MJ, just trying to change his clothes. Nothing, you know what I'm saying, going on. Just trying to change his clothes. A lot of fun scenes in this movie. A lot of yeah. fun scenes. Yeah. A lot of sad scenes. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. They didn't get in the MIT. That was sad when they all like was she was like when Ame kept bringing in all the acceptance letters and he kept getting denied and then she brought in the one from MIT and then they all like met up at MJ's job to like open them and they none of them got in just because they were associated with him and he ain't really do nothing but yeah. that's colleges for you we don't want this look for our school so mm-hmm. we're gonna deny you but that I just feel like that was fucked up just like. Even if for him he didn't get in, you just gonna include his friends too though, like cause he friends with them, they couldn't get in the school. I'm like, no one is talking about this, and I'm gonna talk about it here. Mysterio is the big the big villain for this. He, notice nobody's talking about how Mysterio is is to blame for everything that happened to Peter. Mysterio is he revealed his identity. He's the reason for everything happening after that. This adult ruined this kid's life. Showed you what kind of person he was. 
And notice the teachers. You had two teachers that that were like, nah, he didn't do that. And then you had this one teacher, the, yeah, damn, he, the coach who nobody like, gave a fuck about. You don't do nothing that way. So what? Like, like this you, kid, did you even? Was he even in the? Did he go to the trip with them? He didn't go, right? I don't think he was in. That's all. Like, like what you even doing here? <laughs> Why does your opinion matter? Hannibal Burgess, get the fuck on out of here. It's fucking, like, bro, it was sad. Like, I love how when they walked into the police station, See? MJ and uh, Aunt May was like, they don't both. say anything without a lawyer. Like, they know, like. Let's rewind to the teacher part, though. See, this is why I couldn't be a superhero, me personally, because of my attitude. Because, like, you got the two teachers that's like, oh, we, you good, you know what I'm saying? So we crawl around on the walls if you want to bore people. He like, I know what you did to Mysterio. Child, the web that would have flew out of me, like, bitch, you want me to see? <laughs> you want to see what I did? I'll show you what the fuck I did. Like, you got to have balls of steel to think this boy killed somebody, but then you up here talking shit while he at school. Like, if I was a murderer, <laughs> you better watch yourself on your way home. Be like them children on TikTok and loosen them bolts up on your tires while you're on your way home. But anyway. It's it was it's really fucking sad how can I just say I love the way Unmade came for them cops though. Like when they walked up to the door the way she was citing law, like have you ever heard of like she was not going. I'm like, please. Child, she was pissed. Then that hoe gonna try to pull that damn child endangerment shit on her. That shit made me mad. Oh yeah, that was disrespectful. Where you're his, you're technically his mom, you know, like I'm like, excuse me? I remember in the comics there was a point where they was trying to say that Aunt May was his mom biologically, his birth mother. I was like, damn, like they doing that? It wasn't. That was crazy. So we get back, we see Charlie Cox as Matt Mar <laughs> Matt Murdock. Can I just say opening night is the best night to go see movies? Cause we went twice. And like of course the crowd was hyper, like opening night, than it was like when we went Saturday. Cause you had the cheers, like you know, you had the cheers and the clapping and the screaming and stuff on opening night. Saturday was a little watered down, yeah. maybe because a lot of people had already seen it too. That probably accounts for it too. You got people rewatching like we did, but it was, I was still like, it was amazing to see him as Matt Murdock. I told y'all years ago when I was like, oh, they canceling it. Oh. He coming to the MCU, y'all. I be, I be calling. We shit. got, we got Kingpin and we got, um, we got Matt the same week. I figured they was gonna do that, but like, it was so funny seeing like what they threw like a rock. They threw like a brick through their window and he caught it. And then Peter looking at him side eyed like, how the hell you? Do that? He's like, I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> like, please, I'm like, please, child. And I'm like, I'm like, and this is the thing. This is how. Matt even revealed who he was. I like. I know he didn't have to, but he did. It's like fuck. I forgot this kid is Spider Man. He could have caught the rock, the brick, but my instinct just yeah. You know, I can't wait to see them. Whatever they gonna do with that, I love Charlie Cox as Daredevil. So I feel like that was like a good move to keep him. If that's the direction y'all was gonna go with that yeah, too, that was perfect. Like. Uh, he's a great he is the daredevil like he he did that role yeah. i enjoyed the sh show on netflix now to put it on disney plus like i said you gotta if you're gonna do the disney plus thing if y'all don't know charlie cox like if y'all never watch i recommend y'all watch daredevil on netflix if y'all never have like that shit good now you'll get to know you'll have some background on him as daredevil and um vincent as like kingpin before they do whatever they're gonna do with with like the Disney Marvel stuff. Yeah. But this shit was just like annoying because it was just, he a kid. You got, and then like when they were at school, you had all them people petitioning, like they were showing up at school, you know, like you can't even walk in school. You can't be normal. Like you ain't got nothing. He was like everywhere. You got helicopters everywhere. Everybody know. Like even when they had got to the house, that man was standing outside because they had the door open, like peeking in their house. Like I'm trying to see if it's true. Like the little black dude that was something like, um, the guy who yelled, yelled uh, at um, MJ, are you going to have his spider babies? That was Zendaya's assistant. That's who that was? Yeah, I that's her assistant. It was somebody could, with them having that line like that. But. Like, that's her actual assistant. Like, so that was fun. Um, let's get to Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. He is not the Sorcerer Supreme. Wong, Wong is. is due to a technicality because he got blipped. 
But before we get all the way into that, how about all the theories when the trailers came out after we watched Loki? Remember, we watched, we thought Doctor Strange was going to be a variant because of how he was acting? Mm-hmm. I was thinking about all them theories. Like, that, I feel like that's <laughs> funny. Like, looking back on all them theories now that you've seen the movie, he's yeah. just Doctor Strange. Yeah. Like, but, that's why I sit back and I be like, nope, that's not that's not how Marvel works. Like, mm. I mean, it's fun to guess if you don't take it personal. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what theories are for. But anyway, but I was surprised he was so like eager to help him though. Like when he figured out a way to do it, because he said he didn't have the time stone anymore, so he couldn't change time like that anyway. But like then Wong brought up some about forgetting, and that's when he thought of the spell. So, um. And like the parameters, he kept just kept going, and it was like it was only five times, but he said six. But I think the sixth time was Strange himself, meaning that Strange didn't want to forget who he was. So Strange might have did it six times, one of his own accord to say, "Okay, let me not forget the kid because of what we've been through." I'm trying to see. Maybe I was reading too much into it, but was it something going on between like Doctor Strange and Wong? Because like when he was telling Wong, "Don't do it," and he was like, "Oh, come on!" Like after everything he's been through, like the way Wong was looking at him was like, "Fine, but leave me out of it." But he looked more so like it was something else between them going on. I don't know. Like it just seemed the way he looked before he left. Like when he was stepping back through the thing, he just kind of looked like looked at him for like a long time before he did. But his his face was almost like either he knew something bad was going to happen or something happened before. You know, like, I don't know like what's been going on with him, but it seemed like it's more to that. That makes me feel like that part has something to do with like the next Doctor Strange movie. Maybe like they'll elaborate on it. That's but awesome. it just seemed extra to me. Versus just saying, whatever, do what you want to do, don't involve me, and walk off. It was more, it was longer than it should have been to me. But that was just, you know, like, me noticing that it felt awkward. But, hey. So, we get, let's, um, Dr. Strange casts a spell. Peter leaves after finding out that he could have just called the universities. I mean... A kid don't know that kind of stuff. But he had so much going on too. Like that wasn't your first thought to call the schools when you got like, all this you, shit. You going think on. that the paper is final? Like yeah, like me being the age I was, if I got to climb from school, I probably wouldn't have called either. Like you know what I'm saying? But I guess their situation was different too because they knew they had everything they needed to get in. It was just this one thing that was like lingering over them, keeping them from getting in. So and then he chased down the, the uh, lady, the lady from uh, MIT. On Which the another theory? <laughs> we thought everybody thought that was miles long. <laughs> wrong. Um, so we get the new spider sense, like his new. You know what I'm I and like I I like that later on everybody just calls it the 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 tingle. You know what I'm saying? The, the tickle with the tingle. I'm like, okay, that's dope. But I'm like, I like the new version of it. Yeah. Like it's it's changed. You know what I'm saying? Over the, the course of him growing up, you know what I'm saying? The hair standing on end in Infinity War. Now we got this little, this little, it's mm-hmm. like a zoning. Like he's trying to find his zone. Like where is it? Where's the danger coming from? I sense it, but where is it? I need to pinpoint it exactly. Speaking of spider sense, I know we're going to come back to this, but I like it. I like that more. It was more comic booky when he was out of his body. Did you notice that? Yeah. With the squiggles? Yeah. You ain't got to say it like that. I, I, just... I, Never mind. Go ahead. And I say said it. something about that in the movie. Then. Um, and we get Doc Ock. Back, full effect, dope as fuck. It's like he never left that character. That's the thing I like. It's like most of the people who played their characters just jump back into the role like they never stop playing these characters. For 15, you know what I'm saying, six to 15 years. Like, it's like, oh, I jumped, like, that's great acting. Oh, I played, the last time I played this was 2014. I jumped right back into this, right? Cool. No. What's impressive to me, oh, I ain't played this role in 15, almost 20 years. No, no, 18 years? That's crazy. 
That's fucking crazy. That's good acting. Like, you jump back into this role like you never left it. Like, oh, I was just practicing this the day before yesterday. And I'm like, cool, right? So they have uh, Peter and Doc Ock get into a fight. Peter is losing, of course. Not a problem. Then gets his nanotech taken. But then compare it and then take like control of the Bluetooth. tentacles. Also, if you notice... Edith is on offline. If you looked at the Spider Man hub, Edith is offline. He can't use Stark technology anymore. Like he can't. He can't. When I say use, it, I mean like he can't access the um, satellites. Like he can't do fake facial recognition. He can't use Edith. So he's on his own, which we'll find out later. Um. After he takes control of Doc Ock, we get the Goblin. Strange teleports him beautifully. And he lets him know, okay, that suit looks uncomfortable because we get to see that what it looks like when he flips it inside out. That shit look like it touches his body, look like it would be uncomfortable. You got all these little plugs and all these little gears that's under the suit. Like, it looks uncomfortable. Like, all that stuff touching your body, like, it would hurt. Like, if you really look at but the suit. But doesn't he wear clothes underneath his suit or no? It didn't look like he could wear clothes under that one. But How many suits he got? Because, like. He got the nanotech suit. He got the uh, suit that was from far from home. Because the nanotech suit makes sense. Because, like, he yeah. flipped in and out of his college. Yeah, his yeah like, suit. he had clothes but up like under that one. like, the regular suit, I don't know. It can't. Like, because from what I remember. When he did, when he changed in homecoming, all he had on was his damn uh, boxes. Well, I mean, they probably just made it look like that for the movie. I'm sure, like, if he was actually wearing it, like, it doesn't have on. Yeah, that I'm movie. just saying. So we go, we 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 recruit uh, MJ and Ned, and we get them there. And now we're fighting Electro, and Sandman is helping. Sandman recognizes Spider-Man and he calls him Peter. Like, you know, and he's willing to help. They were slick with this. What's that? Because, like, when you got the Funko Pop, it didn't look like how, you know what I'm saying? It looked like a new suit before you saw it, like, in the actual movie. Oh, okay. Instead of it looking like it had all the wires and all that stuff, it didn't look like that. It just looked like a new black and gold suit. I think it even looked like that in the trailer when he was running through. Yeah, they probably feast. they probably took they took the stuff off it, which is good. Like, um, I had an idea for a feast because remember, like how we they did Black Panther, and then remember how Disney went and made like those actual like math and science centers like they did at the end of Black Panther. I was like, why Disney never made a feast? Like, if they actually wanted to, like, do charity stuff, why y'all don't have an actual feast that exists? Like, I thought that would have been cool to have or whatever, but... <clears throat> we get... We catch all the villains. Doctor Strange and Peter fight in the mirror dimension. Which was, that was cold. And I love how the mirror dimension collided with itself. And just shattered. That shit was beautifully done. And Peter beat Doctor Strange, bro, with geometry. Math. I'm Save like, bro, Doctor Strange, you you smart as fuck too now. Come on now. Let's not act like he you're probably not a wasn't thinking he was gonna figure that shit out like that though. Like who would have thought, like, oh, let me do let me use webs and geometry and get and trap you in here. That shit was beautifully done. It really was. I enjoyed that. So Peter then tries to help all the villains from the other universes. And then the, the classic lines that everybody was saying, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself from Spider-Man to Hobie Maguire, bro, come on. I'm like, this shit was beautiful. And then we get to Happy House and we get the um, I love Jamie fabricated Foxes. machine. Jamie was so black and I loved it. Oh, he yeah. was like, that was like his own personality like up in this bitch. Like that shit was... He was like, y'all really gonna just act like I ain't out here butt ass me? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit, I'm just like, please. Yeah, Max was like more cool. He came off more cool than he was in The um, mm -hmm. the Amazing Spider-Man 2. He came off more confident because he looked better. It felt like he had more confidence. And then, we'll talk about, talk about it later, but... Um, 
we get to um happy house and peter and norman are trying to fix otto and norman is normal right now he's normal helping and we fix otto we fix him it looked like he was dead for a second like oh shit they gonna kill peter it's like no you fucked him up we ain't, we ain't helping us so we fix otto he give him the uh, nanotech back and then we go back in to try to fix norman and the rest of the crew spider sense gets the tangling first name he called out with all these villains around may want to make sure she okay she was out here cleansing that motherfucking apartment with that sage that shit threw me off i was like what is she doing i'm like and he's just like focusing and he's like why are you looking at me like jamie electro was like why are you looking at me like that he was like just gotta close your eyes and focus i love the way they did the spider sense in this one it was just i feel like it was beautifully executed and he got norman ass that has always been the greatest threat to him. I feel like that rivalry is just there. And lo and behold, the goblin is taking full control. And all hell breaks loose. Fucking Green Goblin versus Spider-Man. Lizard's down in the truck. The mm -hmm. fight scene between them two was great. They <laughs> Norman was beating his ass, and Peter was moving with his ass. And pe like you, you, if you pay attention, you could tell the difference between Peter in this fight and the last fight. Peter was pulling his punches, which he does a lot. He does he he holds back because he doesn't kill, and that's why Norman is laughing like kid this is not doing anything and peter is steady hitting him and he dropping the bowls on his head and it's like you're they dropping each other through the floor boom 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 like this is beautiful shit and then the lizard come up grab him throw him bam like bro you this is this is good fighting right here this is good fighting norman is beating his ass he got him May is standing there with some kind of I don't know what the hell that was she was holding was something to stab his ass with. Beat she his snatched ass. something off. Yeah, the, I know she snatched like, something. Some know. like metal, some kind of like metal pipe. She just snatched down from the debris and got hit with the glider. And this was one of the most emotional moments. People, Peter, trying to catch this bomb, and this if. We get more moves. This is the lesson. Because notice he tried to catch the bomb with his hand. When in fact he should have webbed it through it. Like Tobey Maguire did to um, James Franco in Spider-Man 3. Throw it back. He caught it with his hand. Fucked him up. Like had he webbed it. But then we get a scene with... The greatest line ever. Mm -hmm. That nobody with, ever needs to say, obviously. With great power, there must also come a great responsibility. Don't nobody ever need to quote that. And Aunt May passes on. Bro, I give it to her, though. She was trying to protect Peter, bro. She wasn't trying to let nothing happen to him. Like, you see... How he was fighting Goblin, like going blow to blow, and she still pulled that stick down, like, but I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Though if you mess, you mess with my dad, I'm gonna beat your ass. Like, that's some, that's some real shit. Like, instead of her just running off and leaving Peter to deal with it, she was trying to make sure he ain't die. That shit was crazy. I feel some kind of way, though, because I feel like they did that on purpose. Because he tried to kill, like, the original Aunt May. Like, you know, like, in the, with the bomb and stuff, it's like, but this time, though, like, I'm like, really? Man, this this is yeah. what we're doing. So, Peter leaves. He runs happy. You know what I'm saying? Saved him, even though he got shot. So, then we get to Ned and MJ. My kid, if you would have seen my kid's face in the theater when they shot Spider-Man, they was like on some some they was about to raid like bitch you had to there to shoot spider-man like no question just walk up he caught a bullet my son was like like 
He was so disgusted with that moment. Like, they were so hyped. Like, seeing the fight with, like, Peter and Green Goblin. But then when they realized that Aunt May was about to die, like, them expression changed so quick. I was just like, bruh. Hey, they was over there like... My older son was over in the quad. They was upset. They looking at the screen like this, like... Because I feel like with them being kids, you know, when she was like, I just need to catch my breath. Like, I feel like they thought she was going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just looked like because of the explosion, she was hurt. But she was going to be cool. But, like, when she started, when she had to lay down and he saw that blood, they was like, bruh. Mm -hmm. So, we get Ned and um, MJ trying to find Peter. And first time around, they look, they, they open a portal, and we get... Andrew Garfield, Peter Parker. It was beautiful. The execution, he's right back into the role like he never left in 2014. I figured when they opened their portal, though, like the way he was down the alley looking, I'm like, yeah, that's, I can, I can I'm like, tell. That's, that's not Tom. <laughs> I was like, that's not him. I could tell from the eyes. Not after what happened. And then he didn't have his, um, his little face covering on either. Like the last time we saw him, so I was like, nah, that ain't him. But. Ned with the sling ring though, opening up these portals. What are we gonna do with that? Cause like he was like, <laughs> he was Nothing. opening up all the shit. I'm gonna need you to learn how to close them though. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? The ba the banter between them, throwing rolls at them. She was the throwing that bread. I'm like, what is that bread gonna do to Spider Man? He was like, I get it. You're not a trusting person. I respect that. And he just like jumped up and touched the ceiling real quick. Crawl around. I'm like, no. please. He was like, why? That's not enough. If this this is plenty. Like I started hitting them with that bread. I'm like, please. And then is that was that Ned like what was that to Ned? His mom or grandma or I think it was his grandma. I'm like she was like, Can you get that spider web with me in the corner while you up there? I'm like, please. And then we get open another portal. You can tell who it is automatically just by what he got on. I love all the Spider Man, but child, when Toby jumped through that portal when he came through, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like that was the first for me, like the first Spider Man that I watched live action that I loved. I'm just like, please, bro. He jumped back and he, it's like he never left that shit in 2007. Like he went back to the mannerism, like, hey, like, like it's it was like nothing's changed. Like then we get them together, the Spider Man from three different universes together and they're talking about with great power how comes great responsibility how do you know that like uncle I'm ben about everybody they lost yeah that was sad like having to hear that shit we reliving they pain all over again please i'm like not this triple pain we got peter that lost that made then we got toby you know what i'm saying we got all the peters look we got all this that they and, and Andrew's Spider-Man talking about Gwen. I'm just like, please. She was my MJ. I'm like, please. <laughs> that shit was hard, bro. But like, I ain't gonna lie. Tom brought it though. Like, he brought that dumb emotions and shit. Like, yeah. it was just hard. Like, to see he, like so. he's like, I don't care anymore. Like, these guys go. Like, I want to kill them. Like, like he you like, yo, if you want to kill them, that's your, your, your problem. All of y'all about to go back home. Ain't got time for none of this shit. And, like, when he got ready to take things, MJ was like, no, like, listen, like, like, this is what, like, this is the part, like, that makes this movie so sad. Like, he doesn't care at this point. And then we go into the lab that's at the school to get all the stuff we need. And, like, and Andrew was like, oh, I got, a, I got, I cured uh, Doc Connor, so I got that. And they, they, those two were always looking like the oldest brother and the younger brother look at the middle brother like, you're so fucking odd, bro. Like, Cause like there with that lab coat on with the collar <laughs> pop, like, what is you doing, sir? Like, he, but like, like, that's how it is. Like, that's how I look at him. Like, oldest brother, middle brother, little brother. It's like the, <laughs> the middle brother is the odd one. And like, that's Andrew. Like, why are you so odd? And like, so they're fixing up stuff and like, Toby was like, hey, we got to cure them all, right? And Tom was like, I don't know about all of them. <laughs> hey, right? Mm. 
Like, I was with him on that shit. I was like, <laughs> he was not this motherfucker this gotta go because I'm tired of you. Like, you still doing the same shit from all these years ago. I'm like, like, please. Like the oldest brother got to, hey, we got to do the right thing. Y'all can't even, y'all not even allowed to use that that uh, scene from the first Spider-Man no more where like Goblin blew up that wall and Un may be screaming like it ain't even won't even feel the same no more because like then we going to think about this one. I don't even want to see it. So we get to the, um, Statue of Liberty and Statue Tom. Of justice. Tom was talking to uh, J. John and Jameson like, I could have killed you all at any time. I didn't. Child, how many times y'all wanted to stump the fuck out of J. John and Jameson ass? Oh, he's tired. He get on my bitch. You like this in every universe? I'm sick. <laughs> like you, the same bitch in every universe. I'm tired. I'm surprised. Now, I wish they would have did that in the movie. Like, they would have seen that little him on the news and be like, you got one of these too? Like you, damn, they'd have been like, he just ain't okay. I'm like, cause I'm tired. Some things don't change in, in right. the universe. Shit. So um they give you some spidey banter between the three, like which was fucking comical. They they talking about how they use web shooters and Toby has that organic shit was, webs. Like that like, shit was like when, You wanna know how that works, like Tom Spider Man was like does it shoot just from your wrist? Or just, I was like, please, that is nasty. I'm like, I don't want to hear none of this. And like, like I fought a black alien goo. Oh, I fought an alien that was purple. And compared to you guys, I'm, I'm pretty lame. Can, can we rewind it to the I'm lame part? Because you, you're amazing. Like, I love that. Like, come on, no, just say it with me. You're amazing. Say, I am amazing. Like, he is. I love all of them, like, for their own different reasons. I hate when people, like, people always have to compare. I'm like, you can like them all. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, I love them all for their own reasons. Yeah. And we get this big action fucking set piece. Like, and it shows you that, oh, okay, even though we're Peter Parker, we're all Spider-Man, we, like, two of us... Like really don't know how to work together. We really don't. But the back crack that was funny though, oh, where he had to crack his back like that. Like, yeah, we all got this back thing. All this web slinging. <laughs> we all backs fucked up with this web slinging. And we get the uh, I don't know. You 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 on in the Avengers? What is that? Which is actually perfect because in their time. It was just Spider-Man. Oh, we don't know if we're going to get the Avengers to work together. And then we get Andrew just saying, what the fuck is that? He was like, I used to be in the Avengers. He was like, that's great. Toby was like, that's great. What, what is, is that? that? A band? Like, You're in a band? That's cool. No. I'm like, bro. And it hit at that moment, though. Like, damn, y'all really ain't have the Avengers, huh? Like, damn. It was just y'all out here swinging. And... They learn to work together. Get your tingle together. Trust your instinct. Trust each other. And then they run and jump off. And then they, they start working as a spider team, which is great. So we do, we cure Marco. This shit was still funny when Andrew was like, I love you guys. <laughs> they was like, okay, yeah. thank you. They was like, <laughs> they was like what? <laughs> Like the way they looked at him when he said that, it was so funny. He was so hyped because he was like, I've always wanted brothers. And then, like, later he was like, I love you guys. I'm like, they like, dude, we all just met. Like, I know, like, <laughs> like, please. Oh, man. Um, Jamie was causing the most problems. As he Electro. was, which I can appreciate. Like, he was fucking shit up. With his little new outfit with the arc reactor in it. Like, yes, yeah, he out there cutting up. It was so funny, though, because Sandman was just pissed off the whole time. He was just like, bitch, I just want to go home. I don't want to have nothing to do with none of y'all. <laughs> he was just like, I just want to go home. Like, fuck all this. I'm just trying to get, get home. I just want to see my daughter, man. That's, That's all I want to do. Bruh. So we get there, and we cure Flint. We cure um, the lizard who started chasing Ned and MJ. Mm. And Max. Yeah, Dr. Octavius show up. They made it look like he was a bad guy. Yeah, I was like, I was mad. I was in, I'm like, man, for real? I'm like, dang. I'm like, I thought we had this, you know what I'm saying? Because he just disappeared when the whole fight happened. But I'm like, really? 
but he came back to help, so I ain't mad. Yeah, which was fun. Yeah. Snatched Max ass up, which mm-hmm. was perfect. I and fuck that. with Max, though. I fuck with Max. Max was like, you ain't never seen me. Like, you know, back in the day, he was like, it was funny when they was fighting, though. He was like, "You, what did he say? You ain't the shit. He was like, you ain't the shit no more. Like, well, if it ain't my old friend Spider-Man, you ain't even the shit no more. Right, like, I was whoa, like, bro. Whoa. That shit my was man funny. just put his head like, oh, He man. was like, you right. I'm sorry. He was so funny. Like, oh, damn. He, I can't. Like, all of them and their different personalities just made that shit. And then it's like you got just enough of them together, like, mm-hmm. not doing fighting, but, like, with the fighting, too. Like, it was like... That was hard. Ooh. Like, bro, your heart just went out to Andrew Spider. Right, because they y'all did him so. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all did him so bad before. Like, you ain't like, even the shit no more. Bro. God damn, man. Like when they took Max down, and he calmed down. Though he was like, um, he was like, I see you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you just a kid swinging through and helping poor people. He was Queens. like, I thought you was black. He was like, I just. He was like, like, I'm oh, sorry. He's like, oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> like he, I'm like, bro, not him apologize. He was like, I'm just saying all these. Like I, I would think one of y'all would be black. Right. Like it's coming. It'll be nice if you was here to see it, but it's coming. So we basically put down all the villains except the goblin. I knew, I knew he was gonna be the end, bro. It, that's just it's just classic Spider Man. If you got the goblin, he's the last. He want to show up because Doctor Strange showed up by that point. Yeah, because Ned and MJ was running from uh the lizard. Yeah, they and his then ass too. um that's when Doctor Strange came back when he opened the portal and then he had the box about to send him home and of course what's inside them damn bombs. How many of them bitches you got? Where is you holding these at? He had so many. So we get that and. The fucking shit started to collapse. My anxiety rose to a thousand at this moment. <laughs> Just fucking seeing MJ. People and they fall, and then it's like people were so was speculating so much. Oh, that's uh, what's her name? Hand? No, nah, that was that was that was fucking Tom's hand that you saw. Yeah, cause he tried to save her, but then like the goblin mm-hmm. messed it up. Yep. And then Andrew jumped. Well, Andrew Spider Man jumped to save her. That moment killed me because like what it meant for him like just seeing him he did it the right way this yeah. time so it was like if you didn't watch that movie like if you just watch these and they never watched the old ones y'all don't understand that moment no nope. but the way he caught her was correct and then like when he landed like her just being safe and him tearing up like that like that shit broke me i was already broken at that point but like that hurt even more because i was just like please hold that shit in because i and can't. then she asked are you okay mm-hmm. right i was just like "Ooh, i think i hollered when she fell i was like no when tom tried to reach her and couldn't i was like no <laughs> i'm like that moment for me though after seeing like the amazing spider-man in two and i'm just like yeah that bro. hurt <laughs> i'm like that hurt and then we get the fight between Peter and Goblin. Ooh. That. When the punches went pulled. No one said, no. <laughs> one said, no, I just want to kill you myself. I right. Was like, I was Yo, like, oh, what Tom. we do? No. And like, you I knew he wasn't. I called him by their real names because it was too many deals. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm just calling them by their like, real name. Like. I'm saying, but like, even in the theater, I was hollering. Like, when I was hollering, I was hollering Andrew. I was like, catch your Andrew. Remember, I was like. I was like, I can't do them spider names. Like, nah, we just, we regular names for when this. He, when he pulled himself and just like, boom, you heard him hit that that metal. He broke that that, that was a punch that he was not holding back. You can tell the difference in his punches from that, from the first fight to this fight. He was not holding back. He was giving his all. Yeah, he was getting hit some, but like this fight was his fight. Like he body slammed his ass, bitch. Bow. Like, you know, like, he was punching him, like, and he was like, ooh, that a boy, like, yeah, bitch, I'm about to kill you, bitch, you. Him with that dark side, like, just that dark side, that shit ain't no joke, bro. Yeah, got me something. I have to feel bad for him, like, he pisses me off so much, but it's just, like, somebody that got, like, that's bipolar, or got, like, split personalities or something, like, it's, I feel so bad, because he don't know what he's doing, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, it's just. His story just like I'm just like uh it's so bittersweet because it's like I be wanting this bitch to go, but I know it ain't his fault in a way. I'm just like, ooh, child. And 
he gets ready to deliver the final blow with the fucking goblin <laughs> glider, bro. He pulling that bitch over like, <laughs> and Toby comes yeah, in and, and the reality stops. cracked at this time too. While all this going on, oh man, with all them shits trying to come through and Doctor Strange with these magic band aids trying to patch it up. I'm like, okay, and you see other villains mm. from different places. You see Scorpion, Rhino. I thought I saw Craven, Craven. the hunter because yeah, he had Craven. like a spear and he had the little fur shit on. I was like, that gotta be who that is, but from a different universe because the scorpion actually looked like a scorpion. Yeah, like with I'm like that had to be who that was though. But yeah, you I saw was like, all these Child, different people and somebody gonna freeze frame that shit when they get a chance though, and they gonna in, like figure they gonna out really who dissect it. Yeah, if they haven't already. But, so Peter stops. He st- he stabs Toby. In the back, and then we Andrew throws to Tom. Tom sticks Goblin in W. Peter goes to Doctor Strange and says, "Make everybody forget me. Do it the right way." This is where the movie takes its saddest turn. Peter Parker. Nobody knows who Peter Parker is. He doesn't exist. Even Doctor Strange didn't want to do that. You you don't you you have nobody, and I blame the fucking community for this shit of the MCU because everybody was saying, "Oh, he got all his shit handed to him. He he, oh, he got this. He's this. He's this." So they sh- built him up and they stripped him down. Now he's Spider Man. He has nothing, and what I mean by nothing. He said goodbye to Toby. He said goodbye to Andrew. He had to say goodbye to MJ and Ned. Best friend, girlfriend. You lost everything. No one made, no family. It's like no he happy. never even existed as her, as, as her nephew. Like, because when they showed the scene when he was at the grave, he was like, how you know her? Because, like, you'd know if she had, like... A nephew, a something. something. Yeah, like, he don't have nothing. You, he has... Like, let me break this down to y'all so y'all fully understand this. He, it's like, basically, in this movie, if they, if, if Sony and uh, Disney don't come to an agreement, he's gone. All it, because Peter Parker doesn't exist, right? So, eventually, they could say that Spider Guy just disappeared. He was here, but then he was just, like, it's like he just vanished. So, if, if Tom says, oh, well, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. I'm going to hang it up. Cool. He's done. He doesn't have to. His contract is fulfilled. He doesn't have to do Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6. He's done. Spider-Man can just hang up the web shooters and just be done. Even though, yes, they made a costume that he made for himself. He doesn't exist. Which was dope. Well, yeah, which was nice. He 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 did what he did usually does. Make his costume. That the, shitty apartment reminded me of Toby, like the man that always oh, used to yeah. holler rent. <laughs> Every time he walked by, rent. rent. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh my goodness. He in this shitty apartment. He got to take his GED because since he never existed, he never really basically went to school never like went that. To never went to Yeah, like, so he got to do everything on his own. But I'm, I'm hoping now what I will say is Dave already confirmed that it's about to be a four. Confirmed? Kevin Feige. So I'm just hoping they give him a break though, so that like he don't get burnt out. Cause like if you gonna sign up for another trilogy, that's like years before you able to take another break. Really, it would be six years because that's a lot though. I, I know it's a lot because Sony, because what Sony likes to do, especially with Spider Man, give you a movie every two years, and then it's like you don't know if them. That's just three Spider Man movies. That's not even counting like if they want him to do something with the Avengers. Avengers or Marvel. So I'm hoping he gets a break though, so he don't get burnt out. You know what I'm saying? But they already, you know, with the movie being so popular and everything else, they already made a statement about it being a four. So they ain't say a trilogy. They just said a four. So I don't know, but I'm just like I can see that they going I just don't want them to milk him dry because it's like yeah, you, you know you're gonna make money from him because he's Spider Man. Especially after this one. So, like, don't use him to where, like, he just tired of doing shit and, and don't want to do it. Yeah, because, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, you can't burn a person out. Like, and this was his greatest performance as Spider-Man. Yes. Like, like I showed Trey th- pictures of him leaving the premiere. He was, like, in tears. Like, I, if y'all ain't never seen those like, pictures, but... Toby Spider-Man 3 was horrible. 
Andrew didn't get a three because people felt like his two was trash. And this this one is Yeah, they You don't usually get Andrew a trilogy the, that's good. They said Andrew had the best first movie. They said Toby had the best second and then Tom had the best third movie. That makes so, sense. I just, I like Spider-Man in general. Like, that's just, because like I said, I didn't know who Marvel was besides Spider-Man and like the X-Men. That's all I really knew. So, like, me watching that as a kid, then you getting the the first original Spider-Man trilogy, then you getting Amazing Spider-Man. Like, I still like movies. I don't, get, like, everybody feel like they're a critic nowadays. Like, I get everybody have their fucking opinion or whatever. But I feel like, as a fan, this movie, like, was a 10 for me. I really don't normally say that. It's hard to say that stuff is a 10. But for me, as a hardcore Spider-Man fan, I feel like this was a 10 for me. Like, it gave me what I wanted and then some. So, uh, like, I feel like as much as I like Toby because he was the first, I've grown to love Tom because he just, he that, like, cartoon, like, innocent high school, like, Spider-Man, like, I felt like he embodied that. So, I would get sad every time he got sad, because I'm like, he really feel like a kid that just, like, ain't got shit right now. Like, your friends, your girlfriend, like, you ain't got nothing. I'm like, why y'all keep taking shit from him? Like, he has nothing. Like, he, the Avengers don't know who he is. He don't have nobody he can call. They gonna be like, who are you? Like, he has nothing. It's like, that's horrible. Like, they have stripped him of everything. It's just him in a world. And they just, they had the whole coffee shop scene and like he had his letter of what he was going to say, but then he saw her like with mm-hmm. the little sword. It was like, it's probably best if y'all don't know who I am because then y'all won't get hurt. It's on some shit like that. But I'm just like, he's alone, damn it. I'm like, please. And like, I, I'm so glad that they, 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 they keep teasing that she's Mary Jane, which she is. She's Mary Jane, but notice she calls herself Michelle Jones. I, and notice this uh, movie, they added the Watson. Mm-hmm. So like I was saying, like she doesn't go by that name because of family issues. Because she has some family issues in the comics and some of the TV shows. Like her and the cartoon that I watched, her dad was an abusive asshole. And left I her. was wondering that, like when they showed them FaceTime and like who she stay with, like who her parents are, and like, like that. Since they show like Ned, you know, like they we didn't seen everybody like life a little bit, but hers. So. Like notice, like when Norman called her Mary Jane, uh, I go by Michelle Jones. Mm-hmm. That shit was so funny when she had that box. She was like, "I'll do it. I'll press this button." They was like, "Lizzie was like, that can't be his girlfriend." <laughs> like. <laughs> That shit, like, them little moments right there was so funny. There's no And way. then Jamie, like, we believe you, Michelle. Like, she was like, I'll do it. And then Ned was like, she will do it. She will press the button. Like, that shit was so funny. It was, like, them kind of moments that, like, make movies for me. Like, that kind of dumb shit is always, like, funny to me. I love stuff like that. But, like, I don't know. Like, me, I was balling the first one. Because I'm like, bitch, it's Christmas. I'm like, he alone on Christmas. Like, yes. the mom and me was just like, no, you can come stay with us. <laughs> like, you can like, stay with us, please. Uh, we don't get no snow, but you can stay with us. <laughs> like, That's please. fucking horrible, bro. He ain't got nobody. Ooh, that shit like, hurt. Not, like, that, and, like, that's the fucked up thing. At least give him happy. You No, you took him... You Everybody. stripped up like and like this is what the this is what happens when fans talk they shit. And this is the kind of stuff that Kevin Feige thrives at. Strip him down. Also, Strip him down. Like, no, they talking shit. Oh, he's the next Iron Man. Like, and this is what happened when you say things like this. Oh, he's the next Iron Man. Oh, he's gonna lead the Avengers. No, you know why? Because now no the Avengers don't know him. It's like he never even did anything. Child, did did Spider Man from my therapy? Did did Spider Man fight with them during the uh, Thanos shit or not? Because only Peter remembers everybody else. Nobody knows him. I was finna talk to you about that too. Like I had an interesting conversation. Now the people from the other universes were sent back home before the spell finished. So even though they in other universes, would they still remember him? Is it only our universe that doesn't remember him? You mean? Tom. Cause like yeah, cause Toby and Andrew and all the villains were sent back before Doctor Strange finished the spell. 
No, so it's, I, it's just our earth because the spell finished. It's just our earth. So that means if we ever came in contact, since we got all this multiverse shit, come on. That means if we ever came in contact with any of them again, they would still remember him. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had to get that clarification because I thought everybody forgot him, like even the villains and stuff like that, too. No, That's because what I was they, to they dispersed, just like you said, before, before the spell. Yeah. I had to was think complete. about it, but like that was the conversation. I was like, did everybody forget him or like. Is it just the people on our universe? Because if you think about it, the Venom scene, he was like, maybe I should go talk to this Spider-Man, this Peter Parker. I don't know if he, I don't remember if he said Spider-Man or Peter He Peter said Spider-Man, but he said it before he disappeared. So exactly. It happened. He, and then, but he left the Venom symbiote. And like, the funny thing is, since the symbiote is a hive, I wonder if he's still... No, I won't, I wonder if it is a hive. It is the hive multiversal, meaning across space and time. I think that's what they said in uh, Venom. Let there be carnage. That across multiple universes, they remember everything. It's possible. So if that happens, he'll remember. Mm. That'd be crazy. But they left that because then if you get another trilogy, we already know that's going to be like a part of it. And. Another thing that they tease so much, they were they were constantly teasing the hobgoblin because no, oh I'm your friend, I'm not I'm not gonna turn on you. But Child, he doesn't that know moment, that now. That moment, Toby was like, yeah, he died in my arms after he tried to kill me. He was like, it's tragic. This shit was just tragic. Andrew was in the background like, damn, like the way. He was. <laughs> They're looking up. But like, that happened to him though. But like I know, but like that's what Ned was just like. Ned was the, that was the one time he was like, damn, I shouldn't have asked that shit. He was just like, Peter called him over, or Tom called him over to type on the computer. He was like, scared to get close. He was like, oh, like that right there, that's going to be heartbreaking. Now that's like. If they ever go that route. that Oh, they going that route. If if they if they do the next set of movies, he's going to have to fight him. And that's going to suck. Yeah. And I like how at the end of the movie, MJ kept. It's like she knew him. She felt like someone's off here. But notice, she still had the necklace that he gave her. She was still wearing that. She was still wearing that. So it's something there. And it's it's going to be something. Like, if if they wait. And this going to be tricky. How they do his love interest if they do more movies. Because everybody's used to seeing him with her and then they date in real life. And people love Zendaya so they not going to want to break them up. But at some point they may bring Black Cat or they may do a version of Gwen. Who knows? That's what I was like. You know what was dope as fuck? Like most people don't pay attention to it because they try to tone down how beautiful Zendaya is in these movies. But when they were in the police station, she looked like MJ, like she really looked like she could be the actress model that is MJ Watson. Like, no, like her hair was down. She was like, she had this look. Like, I was like, yo, like, hold up. I'm like, I didn't, I like, I didn't even see. I was like, hold up, like, this is like really like Zendaya here. Like, wait a minute, they, cause her hair is usually up, and they try to tone down her beauty. They try to make her look. Cause she don't be with all that shit. Like, like and they that, kids, like it's gonna be different how she may look later when she get older. Yeah. Like they may have her pursue a certain career. Like did MJ go to MIT? Like in any continuity for I, That's I, I don't like, remember that. I don't remember MJ being that smart. Not trying to come for her like that, but like I don't remember her being like how they have her. From what I remember, she was she was doing the actress and modeling thing. I remember that. But like later years, and like then she was like a reporter or some kind of photographer. Some, yeah, yeah, that's I was like she was something like that. But I was like, I, I think never... maybe maybe in the Ultimate Universe she was smart. Okay, smart. Not saying she wasn't smart at all, but just saying like I've never seen her be like MIT. We working on these gadgets together, like you know what I'm saying. So that's interesting too. So I don't know, but Man, look, we gonna get out of here, y'all. Spider Man yeah. No Way Home was the shit. We wasn't even supposed to be doing this for like a. Our fucking video, but hey, y'all gonna watch it though because we y'all excited as we are. And that ending trailer, because it wasn't no damn fucking scene. That damn ending trailer, I'm excited to see what's next. For those of y'all who ain't watched What If or some of these other Disney shows, y'all better get on it because all that shit is connected. Yep. 
So if you stayed for the end of Spider-Man and they understand what the fuck was going on in their trailer, y'all better watch some of this other shit. Disney Plus. Right. Y'all like, ain't watch What If because y'all thought it was animated and it wasn't going to matter. That's connected to. I like how What If fall before Wanda is WandaVision 2 in the chronological order shit. It does? Yep. It's before WandaVision in the other shows. Mm. It's either, I think it's either after, I think it's after Loki. Because I think it's like in game Loki and then What If. Then you get WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier and all that other stuff. Mm. So it's, it's, I don't know what that means. But it's like, I feel like Loki, I feel like, um, because even though they're in order, y'all got to think about it like differently too. I think Loki, What If, and WandaVision all happens at the same time because of how they end it. Like, I know they're in chronological order because you have to line them up on the app. But I feel like they all, like the endings of those happened all at the same time. Yeah. Because of what happens with uh, Wanda, Mm -hmm. Loki. and That's why I wish they would, like, I wish I knew where Spider-Man fell. Cause they not on there, but like if this one were to fall like around that timeline too. And what was funny, I feel like Spider Man with which was over the course of months too. And I'm like, straight, how does that? Because remember, Far From Home was like It all happened back to back, kinda. No, Far From Home was in the summer. Because it was a summer vacation. Right, because the first one was after they prom, right? Then they have prom on the first homecoming. It was the well, it was homecoming, right? Yeah, I'm thinking prom, but it was a homecoming then. So then you get to the end of day that year, and then I guess they went on like a whatever. But it was still after Endgame, right? Yeah, home, Far From Home was after, after Endgame, Endgame. So but it was this years, was like, like right after that. Yeah. So no, I'm just talking about Far From Home and uh, No Way Home, like because that it still like it was over the span of months because we were. They were talking about summer vacation. Remember, like, at the end of the song, vacation, da 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 all that shit. And then we get the clip. Like, I don't know what the time was from that to then, because then we were talking about starting senior year. Right? We were starting senior year. Because they had to do it over, right? They were supposed to graduate when it, while they was blip. No. I'm asking, was it they senior year before Endgame? No. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at it. Never mind. I'm just trying to figure out, like, how, like, did this move, like, how did they do this? Because, like, it's it was, it's, wait. It wasn't snow. Okay, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. It wasn't snowing. No, it was. I don't fucking know. Because I'm going by uh, Yelena saying in episode five, I want to see the new Statue of Liberty. And then we get Spider-Man destroying that. But and, who's to say they didn't rebuild it after Spider-Man? Like, this don't have to fit in with that, though. It's going to take a long time to build that shit. That shit's going to take months. Well, they, all they did was knock the shield off of it. All they'd have to do was put it back up there. Like, I don't remember. The, the whole thing didn't fall. The Statue of Liberty was still there. All they did was knock the shield off. Because she was still holding a regular torch at the end, like how yeah. she normally would. So, and then we saw Spider-Man... Flying over where uh Hawk Hawkeye's supposed to fight next episode. So I feel like this was before everything else though, because Hawkeye is like the last in the uh like the chronological order stuff. Like that's the last thing. So who's to say by the time she, even though she's saying it, it wasn't fixed by then. This is what sucks about not having Spider Man on Disney Plus. True, but I like like I like you said like this happened right after we did after like right after Endgame, cause no. that's. But I'm saying though, okay, so when when did they get blipped? And then they got blipped, and then they came back, and that's when they went on vacation, cause that's when they showed the little boy who yes. had grown up, who was in school with them, and all of that. Yes. Okay, so that was junior year. This is senior year. The vacation happened the far from home was basically junior year and 
fresh the junior year going into senior year. They said this is senior year when the movie started when Betty Brant was talking about some goat tiger, which was the most bullshit thing in the movie to me. So it basically the what I'm the way I feel like is that this happened over summer, not this, but like the last movie they was on like a summer break thing, like as an end of like that's your junior end of the year trip. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, but I'm just trying to understand. I ain't saying you ain't say that. I'm trying to like make a whole statement. And then if this happens like right after that, because at the beginning of the movie you have Mysterio saying the shit, and then it pops off. So this is right, even though they did their college stuff. Well, yeah, this did happen over months because it said Merry Christmas. That's what thing. I'm saying. Like this happened over months. I'm like, this don't feel like this should have happened over months. Because we we start this we start this school year. And I'm like, and then we get into Christmas. I'm like, this don't feel like it should have happened over months. I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, I can understand it happening over months, but it just don't feel like it should have happened. It seemed like over it all happened at one time. Like exactly, that's my point. This seemed like it happened in a week, when in fact this happened over months because there was no snow or nothing in the beginning, and then we get to the end and it's snowing. And we're in the Christmas holiday. Well, maybe. Well, it was like it was over this. Cause Mary Jane had them Halloween directed dot. Like we know it happened after Halloween though, cause the dude was telling her to take the decorations down. Cause remember that's how he got the idea to go see Doctor Strange. Cause the Halloween shit was still up. You know and what? Then, it, it didn't happen over months because the letters coming in the mail yeah. from different places. That could that's be what I was going to say. That when okay. the movie started. It showed you right after Mysterio and yeah, it did his stuff. I, I forgot Everybody about Everybody knew and then they probably had to go through that process. Him going to... Because think about how fast he didn't get no legal charges. Like, all that is a process. Yeah. Like, then, it was it, still like... And then, you know, okay. that's when they was waiting on that letter and all that. It just took time. I knew it was going to come. Like, why did this take so long? I'm like... So, everything happened between the beginning of the senior year and Christmas. So, like, basically... Span, depending just, on when they start school in New York... Basically, from August to December, all this shit happened. This whole movie happened over the span of months. The first part happened like right after vacation. Like the, the all the college level stuff, like that stuff, it took a long time. But once the villain, like once he went to see Doctor Strange, I feel like it was already after Halloween. Because why yeah. would you tell him to take the the decorations down? Yeah. So like it probably was already like November or December is mm -hmm. then before, and that all the end part of the movie happened like right back then. Yeah. So the first part was just long. Him going, yeah, I can Legal see Legal troubles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting rejected from school after school after school. So they basically had been staying at Happy's like some months and then yep. all this shit like popped off. So I there you go, that. Cinema Sins. Don't count that as a sin. Boom, got you. Uh, <clears throat> we gonna get up out of here. Thank y'all for the uh, support as always. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Spider-Man No Way Home is in theaters now. Check out all the Disney Plus shows. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling y'all to go check this stuff out because you of need to know this stuff. Sponsored. You know what I'm saying? You need to check out this other stuff on Disney Plus to really yeah. understand what's going if, if, if you're a Marvel geek like that, you know what I'm saying? If you, Some people just don't care. They just watch what they Because yeah, like. I still don't care, get why people leave in the movie theater as soon as the credits start. They ain't there for Spider-Man. They ain't there for Marvel. They there just for Spider-Man. Like, That's the all they watch. Because like you know... If you a real Marvel fan, don't get your ass up out that chair when the movies go out. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Real. You not already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.